Oh, hi guys. It's MJ from Ultra Love TV. Happy to be here with you. I'm going to pull a few cards. Thank you guys so much for your comments and your feedback and also your bookings. And then the feedback from the bookings is super sublime. I'm fascinated by tarot and I'm really astounded by its efficacy in, in like channeling resonant messages for people when they book. So how does the same you guys? Um, okay, let's, let's go. I'm an intuitive empath. So this, uh, tarot readings are intuitive from how I lay and how I read. So truly, truly most importantly is that you be resonating. If you're not, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you later. All right, let's crack on with the reading, shall we? <laughs> you guys, I have a YouTube channel, Also Love TV. If you want to go check that out, I do free monthly readings. I do uh, collective energy updates. And I often just like randomly go live and chat <laughs> about life. Like, what is it? Nobody knows. It's a divine mystery. Ooh, mega wands. A lot of creative energy. A little bit of like, urgh. <laughs> Like, you know, battle, conflict. You actually might be like, ooh, whoa. It's like being stuck between a rock and a hard place, lover. Yeah, okay, so this is actually like super kind of unique and specific this is who whoever this reading is for you are literally suspended in pretty bad conflict the devil and the death card with the hanged man and this is this is sort of supporting or or you know reflecting the five of wands more conflict petty fights the nine of wands this is an energy really of like a little bit of the wounded warrior you know like having gone so far and then find yourself on your own and not wanting to let anyone in so you might be feeling really really closed off you know if anything i would just say just take your time navigating these energies and then also i would say this death card here would act like so if you feel stuck if you feel bound to anything, anyone, an idea, a thought form, a situation, um, I wanna, I I also want to say, like with this death card here, it's like, regardless of what you do, you will be liberated. Like you will, this situation will die out eventually. Um, for some of you, I really feel like it's something kind of nasty. Like somebody like stealing a creative idea or which is why I think you're having yeah like deception okay mm. lies deception codependencies you know we can't not be in codependencies when we're lying to ourselves right and then okay so I've actually pulled a ten of cups and the Ten of Cups is really saying to me, like, don't worry, you're going to get through this situation. The Death card is symbolic of whatever this stuck, bound, addictive, compulsive energy is, it is dying out. It's going to die. And you're just going to have to stand your ground and be present and kind of wait for some of the storm to pass. Wait for some of the like the conflict if you can just step away from it don't you don't need to get involved this looks like the dynamic already you're not getting involved you're observing but somehow your creative energy is it's like mixed in in with with the the conflict right so you're you are suspended you are probably in this pretty uncomfortable situation connected to the devil and yet it is dying out I feel like some of you might really be learning how to discern intuition so that you can sniff out your bull or other people's bull. And by bull, I mean lying, deceiving, manipulating. And then bearing in mind as well, some people aren't even necessarily aware of it. It's just like how they've learned to be to 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 operate. So, okay, straight up, you guys, like what's 
how how to support yourself if this is resonating it's pretty uncomfortable you're not probably feeling like super fly but thankfully thankfully we've got tarot <laughs> to remind us um your your creativity so basically letting yourself be creative paint with the stars and the moon I'm hearing you will start to feel momentum basically you'll start to feel things moving along moving out picking up speed and honestly you guys before you know it you'll start to probably feel or sense this ten of cups energy ten of cups is a shining light on the stage of your life in in the multitude of of all the colors of the rainbow mm? so yeah it's and and it's the most fulfilled card in the deck Bitch, bitch, <laughs> um, well, no, what I'm thinking of is, um, and especially in this one, it really is like our creatorship, right? Like you get to choose the colors you use. You could see, you get to choose what directions they're pointing in, but it means we really are like full, a full life ultimately and for you guys your creativity is a big part of it it just might be that you're in the process of breaking free from I would say just a, a, a like a creative situation that's over fini you no more wanting it and so it's dying and then you're like eh but then you start to move forward you're a little wiser you're a little bit more grown up and then Holla, Ten of Cups, super duper happy, joy, joy, <laughs> sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. Do -do 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 -do. You guys have a great day. Happy Tuesday. Lovely to be here with you. I'll see you real soon. Take care, you guys.